Today I am at the Boulder City Card Show in Boulder City, Nevada, just outside of Las Vegas. This is a smaller show, but it turned out to be a really, really good show. I like these smaller shows. Lots of great deals. Check out what I found today. You're back? What's up? What's up, dude? Yeah, I just got back like two days ago. How you been? Yeah. Been good. You could have any like half off if you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look, dude. <laughs> No, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to make it in back in time for this, and I was just going to forfeit my tables, but then I was just like, yeah, I'll be back. So, it's kind of cool. The small shows are kind of fun. That's what I mean. Like I, and, and it's I've done really well at them before. Like, I, I like supporting Mike, so... There was a little hype in the off-season for Mason Smith. I don't think he's done much for LSU as of yet, but for five bucks, I, I mean, picked it up. Mike, for example, like... Well, uh, the last side was claimed, so I, uh, our next drawing will be... Uh, you know, Mike runs the show here? Two I don't know Mike yet. Okay. Have you ever drawing. said guy? I mean, he has, a sh he has a, his own shop, like, right down the road here in Boulder. A card shop, right? Yeah. Or a card and comic or whatever? A little bit of everything, yeah. I mean, he was selling video games for a little while. I bought out his entire store of video games. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. This is my crew. Dope. Yeah, truth, truth is, some of that stuff that's in the box, why is it said half, is that uh, some of it's still from the last front row show. Oh, really? And I didn't get a chance to reprice it, so I'm assuming it's down a little bit from where it was. So. Some of these moves, the patches. And it's also the perfect storm where it might something might have went up. That's that's what I'm looking for, dude. Yeah, <laughs> you going to front row? Yeah, I'll have a table there. Nice. I will be there as well. I was. It's, it's weird being back though because it's like I don't know what to do with myself because I was always on the go, always doing something every minute of every day. And now like I come home and it's like, oh, I can sit down and watch TV. It's, it's weird. Like, yeah. You get kind of addicted to the movement of it. Yeah. Like, I had a hard time getting used to being back from the trip, and I just—I was just in Utah all week till yesterday. So okay, it doesn't really end. I've been, and the next this week we've got the Boss Reseller Remix thing, which is a big thing in in Vegas for resellers. So Where I've got a—it's gonna be—it's gonna be at the Blind Center down downtown. But it's, when is that this weekend? This uh, this week, the whole week. Oh, the week. Okay. I don't know what it is about Cody Kessler, but I always pick up his autos when they're low-numbered and cheap, five bucks. Thought it was cool. Probably should have passed. It's going to get better here, but I started out a little slow. Sonny Gray had a pretty good year for the Minnesota Twins, a sub-3 ERA. This is only a $5 auto. I should be able to double up my money after fees with it. Couldn't pass up this National Treasures TJ Friddle. Just looks awesome. Queen City. Paid five. Sold within a day for $15 shipped. He's got the scanner finally. We did. How's it been treating you? It's been nice. With, with Car Dealer Pro, it's just tough sometimes. Like, you know, it's hard for them to keep that newer stuff in there for sure. Yeah, a lot of the new stuff, like, I have to hand do. Is there any, like, sp particular scanner settings you use to make some of the Chrome stuff look better? Because, That's another thing. Chrome looks terrible. I don't know how to fix it. Um, I can get you the guys, though, like, the, the head of, like, that yeah. department if you need to talk to him. He might have some ideas. Like I've kind of given up on Chrome. Chrome. I just let them look kind of crappy, and they'll still sell if they're priced right. Yeah. Kind of, kind of where I've been. Yeah, the paper looks real good on there, though. Yeah, like it's best, really. I mean, it's best for like '80s, '90s garbage. But like, if it's like a year old, it should get almost everything. And a lot of the six months old. Like I've been trying to, been waiting for him to get like some of the newer football out, like that's been out for a little bit, and they still haven't gotten it. What I like though is even if it doesn't get it, it's still so much faster just using like the spreadsheet method they have to fill everything out mm -hmm. to get it listed than it is like. Yep. 100%. You're working through these ones to put on there, you think? Uh, actually, uh, not, not anything. The, the tape ones I just bought like five minutes ago. Oh, really, dude? You just got these? I just got all that. Dang, bro. But these ones, I'm not... These ones, since they're not ours, we're just kind of selling them for someone who just split it. Okay. I, I wouldn't put it on there because that makes it too complicated to track everything. But I, I just bought an entire collection of like 80,000 cards. Dang, man. Then I'm going to try to run through there. You're not messing around. I mean, what about with like 80,000 cards for 2,500 bucks? Like, I can't really lose. It's just... Not at all, dude. And I pulled a $300 card out of there already. Dude. I'm sitting in here, a Giannis White Sparkle with like the two trophies. That's Dang. Like, yeah. That's sick, man. So hopefully it works out. There's tons of autos and stuff in there. This is good. Like, the three, I'm already looking here, man. It's nice. 
and you got it you got it organized right as always is this did, did it come organized like that is that the pricing still okay making sure yeah no that yeah why not man there was a few three dollar cards worth picking up i don't think i got anything in the five dollar range but the real star in these new cards he bought were the dollar cards i mean there is a cj stroud score i know that's not a big ticket item but i'm picking that stuff up bryce young noah sewell that's number to 565 a lot of these I end up getting. A lot of them will do well on Whatnot. I have another Whatnot auction this Friday at 5 p.m. PST after this video when it comes out. So these are mauve again. They went from the $1 back to the $3. So I'm just picking up that Johnny Hecker autograph. Should make me a few dollars. I love that Sam Howe right there. But at 3 bucks, there's just not that much room. We're going to get back to the dollar cards here in a second. But you got to be careful when it's 3 and $5. That takes away a lot of your wiggle room. I did pass up on a lot of cards in this $3 section. I did get this Kyle Pitts numbered purple ice prism. I might try it on whatnot, see if I can make some money on it, or I'll put it on eBay and I think I can make a few dollars profit. Not the best pickup, but I like Kyle Pitts stuff and he's fairly popular. Here's a rare type of card you might find in a dollar box if people don't know what it is. This is a white sparkle David Johnson. That's They come in white sparkle packs. They're kind of hard to come by. I sold that fairly fast for $10 free shipping. One nice thing about the new cards that he got, these boxes, the dollar section had a lot of nice young players in it. I probably should have got this Desmond Ritter at a dollar. I like how it looks. It's kind of a chromium feel. I did get this Sam Howe. I was trying to stick to like sparkly, shiny stuff for the most part, premium brand stuff that Sam Howe went on my whatnot and I was profitable with it. I picked up these three Drake London Prism cards and also this Mosaic Sam Howe. Those are all chromium cards. Uh, we're going to put it through whatnot and see how they do. So lately, my sports card picking has kind of been twofold. I've been buying cards like this cool, shiny Christian McCaffrey for a dollar and putting it on whatnot. I also found a really nice, shiny Joe Montana here in just a second. Those are the kind of cards I've been putting on whatnot. But as always, I'm posting a bit on eBay, but I'm trying to focus for the most part on cards that are $5 and above. It's not a set rule, and I will post $1.50, $2, $3 cards, but they gotta be a little bit more obscure stuff. When I'm going with stars, uh, those will do well on whatnot, so I pick them up for whatnot. This Bowman U Green Wave Matthew Cleveland to 99 for a dollar is an example of a card that would go on eBay. It's more obscure, he plays on Miami, he's still in college. Not a big, big ticket item. Honestly, not sure exactly what it'll go for, but I decided to give it a shot, much like this upper deck Ray Allen rookie. The Ray Allen rookie might end up going on whatnot. That's an iconic set. So I did some more digging. Here's a big stack of cards I decided to get. Some autographs, John Wall, Michael Porter Jr. rookie card. Some low-numbered stuff, a Grayson Allen silver prism. Just cool stuff at a dollar a piece. I can make a few dollars on eBay or I could put it on whatnot. That's kind of the goal. So I thought I was done with all the new boxes, but they said there was one box on the side that had like non-sports stuff. There's a Vader color match, red shimmer one. An Orleone, he's a French guy, silver and a Gavi rookie. I'm gonna get both of those. I'm gonna pick up a few more shiny cards for my whatnot auctions. That Rhea Ripley looked pretty cool. And also this Triple H royalty looks really awesome. Kind of an old school vibe. Decided to pick that one up as well. This Revolution's Ronda Rousey is pretty awesome. Numbered to $1.99. Paid $3 on that. I put it through Whatnot. I don't think it did that well. I think I got like two bucks. That's how auctions are. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. This Alexa Bliss is pretty awesome. And I'm also going to get this pretty nice to 35 Jimmy Hart for five bucks. Putting it in Friday's auction. I'm going to start it at two and see how it does. It's a cool card. I want to try it out. 52, 55. Comes out to 105 sticky. Okay. We need to be at. You just give me a price you're comfortable with. 90 bucks. That'll work, man. Got a box? Oh, yeah, if you have it, that'd be awesome. I do want to share with you something that happened to me yesterday that's probably not worthy of its own video, but needs to be mentioned. It was a really cool, lucky thing that happened to me. As you know, if you follow my shorts and everything, I open a bit, mostly retail. I've had a little luck lately. I got a Jordan Travis Big Kahuna Auto out of a Bowman U box, the only one I bought all year. But I went in a box break um, yesterday, Flux Basketball, just on a whim, last second. I was on eBay just feeling like getting in a box break, and I did it. And here's the funny thing. 
I wasn't paying attention. I thought I was bidding on the Rockets and I bid on the Miami Heat, which explains why I got it fairly inexpensively. So I got in a whole case break, a first off the line flux um, Miami Heat, which I didn't know till I started watching and I realized, oh man, I got in the Miami Heat. And I, at first, was a little upset. Um, I kind of realized afterwards I probably wouldn't have got it as cheap. But still, a Hakeem Olajuwon autograph was pulled in like the third box. I'm like, man, you know, I knew the Rockets were going to be good, right? But the Heat, the Heat ended up being the best um, box break team I could have got. Um, in like the sixth box, I got a gold vinyl one of one of Nikola Jovic. Not Jokic, Jovic. Their first round pick from last year. I've never gotten a gold vinyl in any box ever before. One time about three years ago, I got a retail box of Draft Prism football. And I got a one of one um, black refractor or black prism of T. Higgins, which was awesome. But it had like an indent and mark on it. It was kind of jacked up out of the box, unfortunately. So I sold it pretty cheap at that time for like 100 bucks. But this Jovic is awesome. It's a gold vinyl base. Not like an insert or anything. I have no idea what really to price this at. As you know, my comfort zone is in the lower end cards. I'm trying to push myself into that five to fifty dollar range more and more, but um, this is beyond my um, breadth because a one of one is not something that's easy to price. I've heard everything from like two hundred to a thousand dollars. I'd love to get your feedback. If you made it this far, let me know what you think. I'm going to show you a picture and everything. What you think I should price this out at once I get it. Um, I'm probably going to go high and just wait for an offer. This is something that since it's a one of one, and I know Flux isn't the best product in the world, but since it's a one of one, I don't think it's going to necessarily lose value right away when new product comes out because it's a rookie one of one. So I think I can hold on to it, maybe even wait to see how he plays. He's not playing great. I don't like to speculate. I like to move my cards as fast as possible, but I may hold on to it for a little bit. Let me know what you guys would do. Grading is not something I'm really considering. I don't think there's much upside with a one of one, but if you guys think I should also let me know down below. I appreciate you all watching. There's a lot more videos coming down the line. My goal for this channel is three full length YouTube videos a week along with my normal um, shorts. And then if you follow me on my main channel, my garage sale channel, I'm gonna do two a week there. So that's a big part of what I do. I'm a full-time reseller, but I'm also a full-time content creator. So. I plan on doing a lot more videos. I appreciate you guys and have a wonderful day.